Hello everybody, so Willow here. Um, I'm just in the middle of doing a, a, a spell and a ritual, okay? There is uh, somebody very important that's very, very sick and is coming home. And uh, she's going to be going over to the light at some point. So I know that these this family and herself are stressed, the client. So I'm going to be performing some relaxing and calming spells. I'm also going to be doing a strengthening spell for the family. Um, it could be very difficult. At certain parts of the uh, ritual when I'm explaining that I will mute it because I don't want you to know what the names and stuff are because that is private. I'm obviously going to be writing something down and uh, burning that. So I'm just trying to uh, to set up the altar ready. So I have wiped down the, uh, the altar area just before coming on and I'm just making sure that everything is clean and ready so we've got everything in place this is some of the work that I do on a regular basis guys and it's really important to me that I do this um, I know that the family are really needing it and so is the poor poor lady as well So I've got a number of different things all set up. I'm just going to go and get the other little bits that I need. So obviously, because I've got quite a few different things I've got to ask for in the ritual, I'm using my special ritual plate. So we put that into the middle here. Then we've got my beautiful pentagram to put one of my candles in which is going to be the white one I'm going to write on these so the candles will be done last because I'm I'm going to be wanting to bring some peacefulness some relaxation hopefully it's going to help my client to to find a little bit of strength in herself to be able to get through this uh, difficult time that she's facing. And the difficult time, obviously, that the family are, are facing as well, guys. So that's why I'm going to be doing a strength candle on here as well. So this is what I do to help people. This is part of my work. So we're going to put the other candle bit here, which is going to be the black one. So it is very difficult when you're, you're working with clients and they're sick. It's not an easy thing to do or to be going through for the family or for the person that's facing this. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be using a white candle to bring in the peace energy and the purity energy, obviously, because at some point she will pass over. I'm then going to be using the, the blue candle, which is going to be for healing. And it's also going to be, hopefully bring her a little bit of happiness into her heart while this is going on. Obviously, the black is going to be for the protection and it's also going to be for relieving stress okay 
because there's going to be a lot of that going on in the family at the moment and then obviously green for the healing so when I say healing obviously we know that she's not well and she's not going to do very well but putting that healing energy into her will help her to be able to go through her transaction and um, her change and hopefully it's going to help to stabilize her spirit ready for when that time does come then obviously i'm going to be using a blue candle also a, a lighter blue candle for the calming effects for her as well because at the minute the poor lady is really stressed she doesn't really know if she's coming or going because obviously she's not well the family are worried about her obviously so i'm i'm doing all i can to bring strength and hope to her and to her family you know so that they can at least acknowledge this in the best way that they can which i know is going to be very difficult so what i'm going to do first is just sage over the, the altar table just to bring clean energy in for the ritual and I've obviously asked permission to the person to do this never just take it up on your own self to do a spell or something over someone you should always ask their permission So just cleansing over the area. That's a lot. So I've got one candle in here as well. This one I'm going to put into the middle of the jar with the other. I'm going to put this candle into the middle. This jar candle is going to go over to the bottom here I'm just going to set up the candles how well the ones that I can set up so far so I'm just setting all of them up ready so that um, we are ready I'm going to put a little bit of healing and uh, strengthening herb onto this candle with her name and on the other candles I'm just going to write all of the different areas and things that she needs help in so I will just set them up in various areas I've got a little card on here as well that represents peace. I have got a peace card and I've also got my shaman wolf card there. Obviously I'm going to be using my selenite because it's really good to bring in energy and to make the spell that I'm going to be forming work properly. So we've got some selenite. I'm going to also have my other crystals that I'm going to be putting in because they're really important as well. So we're going to have one here, we're going to have one here, we're going to have one over here. These crystals are for protection and for um, keeping you cleansed and in energy. So I've got some little crystals all set up. I've got my pentagram. pentagram box as well because I think it's really important to have the pentagram box so if I show you what I'm doing so far so you can see These sort of rituals and things to do are really difficult to do and it can be very upsetting as well, especially when the person that you're helping 
and the family that you're helping are people that you know very well, people that you are very close to and you care a lot about, which I, I happen to know these people very well. And uh, it's sad to know that they're, uh, they're facing this at the moment. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to help them. You know, it's amazing to have our abilities, but the sad thing is, is we don't have the capability to be able to make things go away or to not happen, which I wish sometimes I could do because it's the most difficult thing. It's the most difficult thing in the world to know that, that you can't do it to that extent. And it's really sad. So, then going into my herbs that I have over here. And all of my tool bits, I'm going to be using them. Just a little, a little herb. And what I can do is keep using that throughout the, uh, the week. I'm also going to be writing down her name and the things that I want for her. And then writing one for the family as well. I'll do that last minute. I've already saved, but I will sage again before I light everything. So using this plate, I'll use this plate and do it here so you can see what I'm doing go back that's it right so I'm going to use some stuff to help with um, relaxation and calmness and strength for my client. So I'm just going to go through my names. I want to make sure that I get this right stuff. Protection, mental powers, exercise and healing. Yep, so I want a little bit of this. I call forth to you, our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and I call forth to you, Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and I ask for your healing powers, your protection powers, and your strengthening powers to be put upon those in question. So, I've got a little bit of that one on. I'm going to obviously be putting some oil into it as well so some lemon balm which is another one that's really good for your healing your calmness and strengthening and I'm asking the Lord and the Father to please put your hands and your loving ways over the person that I've asked for you to give healing strength and guidance to to the other side and a little bit of salt we want to make sure that she and the family are truly protected. And this has got some black coal in it as well, so it's even more powerful. We've got lilies. Lilies is a very good protection one, and it's also really good for putting into your healing spells. I use the healing spells quite a lot and I do use lily in it. I find that it works very well, especially for people that are very sick and are not going to recover and they're being just sent back home to, to rest and uh, to just let the moment of uh, passing come to them naturally and peacefully which is what I'm trying to do here. Sadly, like I said, I can't take away the illness. I can't take away the things that's wrong with, with her. But I can do what I can, can to help her to be calm because I know that she's feeling a little bit scared as well. So it's really important that I'm covering all aspects of this just to help her 
to feel a little bit more in control. And because she's not eating properly and things as well, I really want to try to help her. So we're going to be putting some nettle in. Nettle is a very powerful source for your healing and other things like that. Obviously you can use a number of different herbs for different sorts of the like spells of protection and healing and so on. It really does depend on what you're doing. I'm going to put a bit of the sea salt. And a little tiny bit of the Epsom salt. I like to put a number of different salts onto it because they all do different things even though they purify they cleanse they protect they they bring a lot of energy into your spells so it's really really important to make sure you do that and when you're doing it you're putting your intentions into what you're wanting it to do as well it is difficult to to have to do this especially for people that you you know and you care about and you know that they're going through difficult times and you know that you can't take everything that they're feeling away but you can at least try to do what you can so then because it's obviously getting more full now I just stick it into the pot and I will continue to add in that so that's it so far. I'll put my matte thing back here. Because before I put it onto the paper, I do like to just charge up the altar with it on it. So I've got that so far. So what else do we need? Mother wart is a really good one. Some protection. She definitely needs some protection over her and her family, so that's definitely going in. They need the protection to help them to get strengthened help them to be able to face the difficult times that are going to be coming to them. It's really difficult to do these sort of love. Right, yeah, we want some love and we want some good luck. We do. We want some luck in her health in her parting when that comes we want it all to go well and as peaceful as it can be with her not in pain so now that i've got that then what i will do is with an individual candle i'm going to put a little bit of that candle wax in to the herbs that I have made this is just to bind it together and to bring all of the energy and all that's needed at the minute I'm just showing you how to do it I will do the prayer and the spell thing over the altar as I put it all in I won't be able to show you that part but I'm just showing you what I do to, up to helping my clients and things so we've got some candle stuff, so we'll put that there. We don't want to take put that out now. So that needs to continue to purify. Just mix it in. And then I energise. The herb make.
half of them are mothers. I call forth to you. And I call forth to the four colours, the four directions. To the elements, earth, water, fire and air and spirit. To our Lord Jesus Christ and to our mothers, mother earth and mother nature. I ask that you come forth and hear my prayer and my spell. And I ask that you put the energy of protection, healing, peacefulness, strength and relaxation and love into this spell. I ask that you bring the guidance of help to the family in question and to the person in question that is unwell so that when their time of passing comes they will go peacefully and correctly. I surrender myself to you father and mothers and I ask that you put your energy over her and over her family and help her to be at peace. Help her to not suffer. For she is your child, your daughter of this planet and of this earth. And in your hands, she will be safe. So I've done that. Now all I want to do is just put a little bit of a blessing oil and a little bit of my healing oil into it. And some protection oil. So using the protection oil. I use this protection oil to protect. Just going to mute you again. So now I have added the oils in. I bind this spell and I ask that this spell be brought to light and that the family and the person that I have asked for in question may be protected, guided in love, light, healing, safety and impurity. Mixing it in. And obviously now I will put that on there like I said because I do need to write on the candles and things so I'm going to be putting things like love peace strength um, guidance protection things like that on there on the larger candles my black and my white one I'm going to be writing just little message across for the person in question that needs the help and obviously I've got this as well that I'm going to to write on and put that underneath the candle so it strengthens it I won't be burning this I will burn this when I've done the ritual just to uh, make the binding the last moment and then I will give it all back to mother earth and mother nature and the Lord the work that we choose to do and choosing to help people it can be very difficult and it can be very upsetting as well especially if it is people that you're close to, um, people that you know and people that you care about. So it can be very difficult being faced with this sort of work. There will be a little part two video to this as well. I will be showing you it all set up and everything wrote down. You won't be able to see the names and that because obviously it has to be kept privately out of respect of the family. I've done my basic protection and whatever over the spells. Now I'm going to be doing it in full, which I'm not going to be doing on camera, obviously, because it is secret and I can't be sharing what I'm doing with you guys in that way. But you have got the outrun of what I do and how I help people. And you've seen me now making a spell to help a family that are losing someone that's very dear to them. She has been in hospital very unwell and she's now coming home because it's her wishes. And... Um, She's not doing very well and she's very scared and things like that. So I'm, I'm just doing some things to help her and to help the family. Because it's a difficult thing to have to do and they're going to be taking their care on until that time comes. So just helping them all and giving them a little bit of strength. And it's my way of showing that I am here and I am thinking of them and I am trying to help as best as I can as well. Like I said, I can't cure what's happening. I wish I could. But I can at least try and help them as a family and help her to to be more at peace that is what this sort of work is this is what we do we don't do evil and badness on people we we try to help people lots of love light and blessings and i hope you like this video and i'll see you all very very soon thank you for watching